Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating it's Thursday, April 9th, 2020. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, the authorized souls remain only child souls from the deeper, denser dimensions. And all other souls from all other dimensions, as long as the souls are already living by the many search for truth rules, already given to the search for truth community by wiser minds above all of us. And it has been a really long time since any soul who has arrived here has actually been doing that. That's right. But we start where we are, use what we have, do what we can. And remember, this is really, really important, that uh, denser lives do not have legal standing under divine law, and only souls have legal standing under divine law. And sometimes people get grumpy and want to argue with God, and it would be like a, a problem dog who starts attacking people. And to consider what would happen in uh, Ground Zero, Planet Earth, human society, if there was a dog who started attacking people, what, what would happen to the dog? guesses? I guess they would not let that dog uh, live very long. Right. Some Somebody would report the family uh, and somebody would come and off that dog. Yeah. That's what would happen. And so to really, really take this to heart, uh, host laws don't have legal standing under divine law. And even if the upstairs presences to whom you're speaking are reasonably patient, some upstairs presences, some higher powers won't be patient that with you. Is they true. will find your disrespect offensive. And uh, uh, smooshes do happen. And to not pretend that smooshes happen, that would be to ignore reality. And somebody's talking about who they smoosh, who do higher powers smoosh. And we've watched a lot in the healing practice. We've watched a lot of uh, lives be uh, drawn to a close, we'll that call it, true. at the wishes of higher powers. And often the person whose life is drawn to a close is oft in the hope that somehow the loss will be motivating to someone else. That's right. And that someone else will finally, finally, finally step up and do something. For whom is the message and why do you ask? It's very quiet. It's very quiet. We, we really would like to circle around to the pandemic that's still circling around on planet Earth, Ground Zero Planet Earth, uh, unclear who's speaking, but it is somebody who has a question and they're saying, now that that's in play and engaged and we're seeing how humanity is starting to respond to it, which is mostly poorly, but at that's least there's right. a diminishment of the frantic level ap activity. That's true. Uh, what now to stop the destruction in a fair and just way? How to do it in a fair and just way? Because here they're asking, uh, why do we say it isn't just how it's unfolding right now? Um, for example, here where we live, there's a really bad drought. That's right. And the plants feel so panicked at the end of every day. We're, sp <laughs> we're spending about four hours a day, four yeah. hours a day, trying to keep everything alive that we're responsible for keeping alive. We have a lot of uh, baby fruit trees and other trees and we're responsible for them and we're responsible for this hill that That's we live right. on and erosion is a serious problem. And so therefore we've got to have something that holds the, the hill. hill and therefore we have to have ground cover. That's right. Uh, with roots that are healthy. And we tried to ignore this erosion problem for maybe two and a half years. That's right. And then realized, oh wow, oh wow, this hill has lost maybe three feet. Maybe That's three right. feet from its original level based on the trees and their roots. That's right. And a uh, hint, if you can see underneath the tree, that's a problem. That's bad. For him is the message. Why do you ask? So some somebody's saying, go on, go on. So in an attempt to rebuild the hill, we're literally 
carting wheelbarrows of dirt and rebuilding the hills That's around right. the giant oaks that we really would like to be able to finish out their natural lives. And now they're not getting any water, and the water table is 12 feet down, which we know because we had somebody come and install a hand pump. Mm, that's right. So that in hurricane outages, we can still have water on our tiny farm. And the water table is 12 feet down, and just think about being a tree and having to go 12 feet down. And think about being surface plants who, right. like that's, that's kind of out of the question, right? That's so then right. the surface plants just die. And we know this, th- these people are still talking really fast yep. as if they want to get this on camera before the microphone's cut off. And we know that uh, there's been a diminishment of human pollution levels that's quite measurable. Uh, Google it, lots of websites show it. And we also know that the predictions of climatologists for years has been that when the pollution levels diminish, that uh, there'll be kind of like an exhale of uh, the carbon problems and that there will be a temporary temperature spike. That's right. But that it's a necessary part of the healing process. That's right. What that means is that this drought might continue. Oh, yeah. Which is really bad. I miss the message, and why do you ask? And and what about some justice? Because how come the plants are being uh, put in such a devastating situation? They're so panicked. Whoever says it isn't a problem should be here in the afternoons when we're watering them because they feel panic they, That's they right. just feel like god has completely forgotten them. And That's the feeling. Isn't god in charge of justice? Isn't God in charge of justice? So what about justice for the plants who are just dying in this drought? This is such a bad drought. The lakes, we're watching them dry up again. That's right. So many of the plants, they're giving up hope. And they're giving up hope maybe that there is even a God. That's right. And that's, isn't that heartbreaking? We find that heartbreaking. And we realize a lot of people watching this don't give a rat's ass about plants. That's true. And we know that about you because of your YouTube comments. <laughs> we know that you're selfish. That's true. Uh, and that's some guardian angel who's talking. Uh, somebody who's enraged. They're so mad. Yeah, I, we don't know who. It's not Lord Shiva who no? is the uber grump, but it is uh, it's somebody else that's who's right. really upset thinks that uh, many people should be ashamed of themselves. That's true. For him is the message. Why do you ask? And what about some justice? Can we get some justice, please? Justice for the oppressed and for the gentler societies. And we acknowledge that not all plants are gentle. Some of them are very aggressive. That's true. That's true. What someone in that higher dimension room keeps pointing to, and they're pointing to it like they pointed to it over and over and over again, is the topic of the tails of the bell curve. Oh yeah, it might be so. I think it must be because he's talking about justice, and the response when someone said, well, some plants were aggressive, was some, some people in that higher dimension room said, well, there's no way to tell, there's no way to... Uh, give water to just the good plants and not the plants who are being aggressive against other plants. There's just no way. And then Saul said, but what about this idea? Boom. A tail ends of the bell curve, the very good end and the very bad end. Providing instant karma, or at least a accumulated karma right. to both tails of the bell curve of karma and the best of the best are already asking for and receiving their karma instantly That's but true. the worst of the worst are not and therefore we've got to balance it out if there's going to be any attempt whatsoever at justice and also the worst of the worst those who are continuing bizarrely in spite of this pandemic in spite of everything they're still continuing to pull the train toward destruction. That's right. Rather than taking this moment to say, you know what, we can change. We can use this time to be introspective 
and to form a new plan that moves forward to find the silver lining in this situation and to move forward in a way that makes more sense for a sustainable future for all of us. And we don't see any proof of that kind of thinking happening. That's it, right. It just seems to be a continuation of the frenzy of selfishness. That's right. I miss the message. Why do you ask? And what, what about some justice? Like, can we please, please just smite some, some people, smite them? Shouldn't there be smiting? Isn't justice God's job? You know what someone is talking about is human arrogance. There's plenty and, of that. Right? And how humans will decide to take it onto themselves to deal out justice. That's that's not what we're talking about. We that's need the not hand of God. At all what yeah, we're talking about. That's not about. what we're talking about. Hand of God, please. Something that's quite obviously the hand of God. It needs to be quite obviously the hand of God or it doesn't work to provide guidance to the masses. Exactly. It, it cannot be human on human violence. That's that, the point. That's just people being icky. That's exactly. That's people being revolting. Exactly. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the hand of God. Acts exactly. of God. Miss the message. They're talking about Sodom and Gomorrah. That's what they're talking about. And that... Uh, so we see how that was in a time when divinity could still reach into the depths sometime in between whenever the Sodom and Gomorrah conflagration was yep. and 1212 um, AD. Thank you. Something went awry because in 1212 AD the Mediterranean Sea did not part for the Children's Crusade. The 10,000 right. 10, 10, best children in Europe. And if that isn't a sign of system breakdown, I don't know what is. No, but it's true. For him, is the message. Why do you ask? And please, may we have uh, the hand of God visible, please. Somebody's saying, if you can't see that this is the hand of God, what the heck? And they're talking about the pandemic That's overall. That's what they're talking about. And, and we, we agree with that. I agree with Actually, that. it does look like the hand of God. Yeah, it does. And so thank you for the pandemic. And now, uh, what now to stop the destruction in a fair and just way? Oh, they're talking about something that has been said by the angels many, many times. They've said... Um, if humans won't voluntarily control their population, reduce it back to sustainable levels, which they have said is between half a billion and two billion. That's right. If humans won't do that voluntarily, then they will do it for us, and we won't like that way nearly as much. That's right. That's what they've said. W we're interested in justice. That's very that's what much. We're interested in it's this is about justice. How to. Uh, provide guidance to the masses. What now to stop the destruction in a fair and just way? Somebody's saying start where you are, use what you have, do what you can, and they're implying that this is the start of a systemic reduction of human population uh, through acts of God and that we are choosing that. We as a collective. As a species. We'd still like some justice. We know that we don't yeah, have. We know that we don't have any standing, and that we we understand that. Oh yeah. And but we would still like it. Yeah, we're, that's right. We're still asking for justice. We still are. We know that we don't have legal standing, and we're still asking for justice. What now to stop the destruction in a fair and just way? Not something that disproportionately affects the poor. Like if you look at the instructions to work at home, mm -hmm. and let's just pretend that you're a cleaning lady. H how are you going to do that? How 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 are cleaning ladies going to be able to work at home? What about all these people who do manual labor, which That's is what often what the the poor poorer people of the world do is often manual labor. How are they supposed to work at home? Help us, please understand that. Do you hear anything? No. They're talking about the smallpox blankets. 
and how Europeans, when they invaded the New World, uh, thought that it would be a great idea to spread disease among the indigenous populations. That's right. And passed out uh, blankets that had been infected with smallpox because Europeans tended to have smallpox immunity and the indigenous populations did not. That's right. And that this is a disease for which humanity does not have immunity, which is, uh, looks like the hand of God. That's right. I think the big point is that we have a lot of questions about divinity and about justice and about where they intersect. Well, um, that we understand that we don't have any legal standing and to be really, really clear about that, but we still have these questions and to us it seems that this is a definitional situation that if there are higher powers who don't have an interest in justice, then they're probably not higher vibration, higher powers, they're just higher powers. And that that's not really divine, that true divinity is a consistent source of significantly higher vibrations, and wouldn't a presence like that be interested in justice? Somebody is talking about how this uh, pandemic might actually shut down the elder travel industry. That's right. And that that might be a, an act of justice. That's true. Because uh, travel is an ecological disaster. That's Fri right. Frivolous travel is an ecological disaster. All travel is an ecological disaster. That's true. And frivolous travel is an ecological disaster that's senseless. That's right. And the elder travel industry is sadly and unfortunately uh, senseless destruction. So maybe there is justice in shutting down the elder travel industry. That's right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Can we have some more justice like that? That's And we appreciate that. Can you explain? We would like to understand more. That's actually beautiful and we actually see the beauty in it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.